Hey guys, it's Woods in Survival, and today we're going to be doing a review of the Red Rock Outdoor Gear Assault Pack. Stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Woods in Survival. So like I said, I'm going to be doing a review of the Red Rock Outdoor Gear Assault Pack. And this pack is on Amazon. For, it ranges from like $32 to $40. And this is the O, I believe, OD Green. Is uh, No, Olive Drab, sorry. It's the Olive Drab, color, Olive Drab color. And they have a bunch of different colors. They have black, woodland digital camouflage, coyote tan, dark earth, Olive Drab, woodland camouflage, and ACU camouflage. So there's, so that, those are different colors. There's Molly all over this pack. So there's Velcro Molly up here. And then there's Molly here. There's Molly on the side of the pack. So I'm just go over the gonna go over the externals first. So right here you have four compression compression straps. I really like these straps because once you adjust them you have all that all your stuff hanging. So you just tighten it up however tight you want. And then this thing right here it's velcro so you just so you just fold the strap up you just fold the strap up like this and you just set it on there and you're going to take it and put it on the strap and you're just and you can just velcro it up i love that feature that they put on there cuz you can just take your straps in cuz they're all dangly you can make, just make them really short so I really like that feature. And there's four of those. And then on this, the bottom right here, there is also some compression straps. And there's Molly down here too. Sorry, I was struggling to hold that up. I hurt my arm over the weekend. And so I'm gonna go over the back panel. So these are the straps. And then there's an adjustable uh, chest strap. And you can take this off if you want to. You just unhook this and it'll come right off. You just gotta run it through here. But anyway, so here's the straps in there. And then the back panel is a mesh. Uh, it's breathable mesh. It, uh, on, the, on Amazon it says it's a ventilated back pad. I couldn't, and then this opens up. And it's pretty big in here. You could put like a a hydration bladder in there. I wouldn't suggest doing that though, because once you get them filled up, they kind of like sag to the bottom. It doesn't have like a tie up or anything up here, so it might be uncomfortable. You can try it if you want, but and then the these are box stitched. I really like that they did that. And then it has a reinforced carry handle. It is, it's also box stitched. So that is going to be it for the outside. And then I'm going to unload what I have in the bag and go on the inside. Okay guys, so now we're going to go through the internals of the bag. So right here on the front pocket, we have just a bunch of molly right here. And then it's got sort of like a waterproof material on the inside. I think that's like if there was like a medium to light rain that it would keep your gear dry. So just right here, there's a pocket and I just keep my, I usually keep like a notepad in there and I just have like a big pen and that goes right in there. And then the, there's four of these, but three of them are smaller. And then the fourth one is, um, it's a little bigger so you could maybe put like a skinny knife in there. So that's that pocket. And I, like I said, there's Molly all over that pouch. Then up here there's Velcro Molly. I just have the, my Punisher patch, American flag, and in here it has that same kind of waterproof material. There's no organizer pockets in here. And then this is what it looks like from the top. And there's the front pocket. There's like the center pocket, and then there's the the big pocket. So I'm just gonna open this up and. This one is pretty big. It's got that same material. Um, 
So right here, I, I just keep fire starters. This is pretty big. I can fit my whole hand in there. And then you just have two uh, like mesh pockets. And then this one goes down pretty deep. Um, this pocket is 15 inches tall, so it, that's a pretty big pocket. I've had my tarp in there. I, just, I just, It was a smaller tarp for my one-person tent. But that's why, that's how big that one is. And then the main pocket is a clamshell pocket. And what that means is it unzips down the whole side and some onto the bottom. And it just clamshells open. So I'm going to pause the camera and get in back. Okay, guys, so this is the main compartment right here. And I just have a tarp in there just for size and where's my tape man okay so just this pocket is like 17 inches so and this this tarp is pretty thick folded up it's a pretty big tarp i think that's like an 11 by 9 folded up and that is three inches tall if it was puffed if it, you had maximum gear in it so I'm just going to take this and stand this up. So right here is the top of it, and it's got strings. So you could tie something up, and then it's got this compartment right here. It's a little zipper. I find that when I take camping, I'll like put my socks or some stuff like that in there. So that is the top part and then so the bottom part right here this I put maps in here sometimes I used to have maps in here but now I just keep I have an MRE in there and that it's a pretty good fit and moves around a little bit but I usually put something in there sometimes I put my raincoat in here too but I've had this pack for about a year I would highly recommend this pack, except one thing. Hold on, let me. So right here, this is the hip belt. Now this is good and bad. This can be good or bad for you. So this is the hip belt right here. It's adjustable. You can take it off if you want to. In fact, right here is the the D ring. Now the bad part about this is you have to feed this in there. So if you pull this too tight, this if you pull this hip belt too tight, I've had this happen to me multiple times. And this will slide right out in your hip belt. You can take your hip belt right off. So that's good if you don't want your hip belt. Now I find this, now if I have a bunch of gear in here, I'll wrap this around right I'll wrap this around right here to squish this down. But if you don't want the hip belt on there, this is a great feature for you. If you do want the hip belt on there, and you have a lot of gear in this pack, then that's bad. Like me. But, that's the only complaint I have about this backpack. So you could look at that good or bad. If you don't use the hip belt, that's good. If you do use it, that could be good or bad. But that's the only complaint I have about this pack. Otherwise, I would... 100% recommend buying this for $35, $40 with tax. This is an amazing pack. I would definitely recommend this to anyone who is up in, the <coughs> up in the woods a lot. I keep a tarp in there in case anything. It just holds my gear perfect. I'll put a link down in this. <coughs> Losing my voice. I'll put a link down in the description on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.